What is going on guys, today we are looking at Second in form Saul, he has got himself a headliner card um, Quite a few, a few weeks back now we've had headliners um, And he's managed to get an 87, so he's gone from his 85, 86 to an 87 I thought, you know what, give him a go He's got a headliner upgrade, that is a little bit more expensive I think that's coming at about 50-ish K uh, where, uh, Whereas his in form is 42 Which is quite funny because his 86 is about 42 as well So I can imagine this card is probably either going to rise a little bit or the 86 will end up dropping. He's a three star, four star, so nothing really too spectacular there. He is more of a center mid than any other kind of position. Left footed with a high, high work rate. He's six foot with not great pace. I think that's one thing that you'd want to really look at doing. If you was to pick one or the other where you'd like him as a centre mid if you'd like him more attacking or defensive then a hunter or shadow would work well other than that maybe a catalyst would be your next move or i've gone for an engine try only gives him 79 acceleration which for me isn't fantastic but i'm, I'm willing to be open-minded about it we want to see what the the kind of non-pace players can do as well everyone doesn't have to have 90 pace to be actually okay and playable 85 composure which is good i think that's good enough agility balance not great but again it's what i'm expecting from a six foot center mid um good head and accuracy decent jumping lovely stamina strength 78 i can deal with that vision's good short and long passes decent finishing again it's very much like the defensive stats it's all above average. I think the, the attacking position and shot power plus the long shots isn't terrible. So I'm interested. 84 reactions as well. I feel like the, the engine was the way to go, but we will see after the review if, if more pace is needed or something else is more needed. Does he need more dribbling? Does he need more shooting, defending, passing, physical? We'll find out at the end of this and we'll see what the best uh, poor call is. Jumping into the first match, we're coming up against a PS, well, not PSG, a league on squad with uh, Schultzer, I want to say, in the left back role, winter refresh, Balak as well. I'm guessing he's going for an objective, um, so should be very interesting. Ultimate FC, let's see what we can do. Saul intercepting into Alonso, who's going to go down that wing, he's going to get caught up. Ah, the pass is awful. Out of position now, Saul is looking at that midfield. Alonso needs to get back. Saul intercepting again. Fantastic work from him. Saul. Out wing. Go back inside to him. We see Messi. Going to knock it into Suarez instead. We get the free kick. Suarez. There's number one. Beautiful stuff. I was looking for Saul. I'm not going to lie. I saw him in that box. But I thought, you know what, we'll go and make sure we get the goal. I don't want to be losing this match. Oh, and we get a bagged on a second. I feel like that is going to be the it for this match. Um, I feel like he is a little bit in over his depth. He's obviously trying to get an objective, and we managed to win that one. Decent performance. Um, obviously, two goals very early on, so not really much seen from 20 minutes of gameplay. Alonso had the ball a couple of times. Didn't really do a hell of a lot with it, but to be honest, we didn't really need to. The ball kind of just went with us. Um, Saul, good interceptions to start with. A couple of interceptions, which were nice. But apart from that, again, not a lot to really be seen. Jumping into the next match, we are now coming up against, this is a bit of a better team, Marcelo, Neymar, Mbappe, Dembele, Timonia De Ligt, didn't even see him, Baby Schmeichel, Virgil, and Gattuso. And obviously a couple of golds sitting in there. That's a good team. Saul. Into Messi. One more to Saul. Ah, just couldn't get it to the right there where they were making that run. Oh, and he just hits it straight through the keeper, honestly. Oh, Messi's been taken. Saul was in the box and he was ready to receive that. Hey, Zidane getting that goal. 1-1. One, one. Honestly, I don't feel like it's deserved. He has been playing so well. I can see him definitely getting another if we don't get very, very lucky in these next, like, 20 minutes of gameplay. Saul is finding Messi. We're going to look outside for Zidane. Flick. Oh, God, that's not a flick. Oh, and that's it. I've kicked it out by accident. But 1-1, one, one. honestly, if, if for me, I will take it. For him... He got robbed. He genuinely got robbed in that one. 
Going into the next match, we are coming up against... Okay, we've got Baby Haji, Baby Campbell. He's got Pope in net, Red. He's got Henri on the right. Paulinho... It's a bit of a mixed match team, to be honest. There's Zajic, very nice. Gomez and a Red Robertson. It, it's all good, but I think it's just not quite together, really, there. I don't know. It's a bit of a mixed match team, if you ask me. It's going to go over Marcus Alonso. Far too easy. Trent Virgil's having to rescue him. Knocks it straight into... Who's that? Uh, the SPC League player. It's going to find Saul, who's going to get Zidane on the run. Saul bringing it out. Finds that pass through to Suarez. He's got Campbell chasing. Campbell has just obliterated Suarez there. It's a good ball from Saul, though. Obviously, that is predominantly what what the CM will do. Um, occasionally, I like him to, to get the ball back. Mainly interceptions I'm finding from him, which is very, very nice. And just general, just picking the ball up. But again, Saul Campbell's doing a lot of this guy's work right here. Saw back in. Back to Messi. Messi! Oh, there's the goal. Saw bringing it back in. It finds its way to Messi. And all it takes is a little finesse. Saw taking it back. Lovely. A little drag back. You can see him wanting it. Oh, I wanted Trent, but he stopped running. Saw again. Kante, into him, into Saul, one more to Suarez, oh that's a great save, head it back, Saul, ah oh, speed up lag, no, ah oh, I don't think he'd have got it anyway, Zidane's going to go from the speed up, into Saul, find Suarez, into Saul again, let's go, Messi, oh it's Saul, fake shot, left foot, Beautiful goal. That is great play from Saul. Lovely little one-two with Messi. Finds his way in. Gets his left foot just over the knee of Pope and into the back of the net. Um, but at the minute, Saul doing work. He's got himself a goal in this match. Actually really impressed with him. I, I think he's starting to get up there. He really is starting to get up there. If he just gets himself a couple more in forms... Or if we wait for team of the year, he will be a very good player to play with. Um, centre mid-wise, he would be there. Um, I, I feel like there will be a lot of options when team of the year, uh, team of the season come out. So that's going to be the only reason why he'll want to do it now, rather than wait for team of the season. Because again, we don't know the order of them either. La Liga could literally be last. Saul turning, dipping, and weaving. Rooney is going to wait for that player. Oh, and he just tackles him. But we do get the ball back into Saul again. Flick. Hey, flick to the body. But it doesn't manage to go. Rooney is going to flick it. Little ball roll. Left foot. Head that from Arnold. Into Saul. Going to go across to Rooney. Saul's going to still be going. Little fake shot into him. No, is he not going to get it? Oh, we're going to get it. There we, there we go. Get that throw in. Rooney, there we go, get the assist, but Rooney gets himself a goal to make it 3-0 in the 63rd minute, we're running away with this now, all we need is that French striker to get a goal, and we're pretty much laughing, if he gets two, that's even better, Saul getting that interception, back to him, loving the play, we can see him again, What's he going to do? Ah, oh, he gets taken off the ball too easily there. Zidane doesn't manage to win it back either. And that's the game. 3-1. Uh, really, really good game. Saul obviously managing to get a goal. Lovely work from him. We dominated that game pretty well. And he was a massive, massive part of it. Interceptions was absolute key for him. So going into the overall review for second in form Saul. Not a bad player. I think for me, he's got to get himself a couple of upgrades more. Like I said during the review, Team of the Season Saul will be a very good box-to-box -box player. He should get a good 93, maybe even a 94. Obviously, it all depends on how they go with the Team of the Seasons. If they go all out, this guy is already free away from 90. Normally, they give, what, 4 to 6 on average kind of players or people who are, are going to be buffers in the league in, in the, the whole league of team of the season 
So I could see him being from anywhere from 92 to 94. If he continues maybe at this pace, if he gets one or two more informs before team of the season, we could be looking at a 95, 96 saw, which would be phenomenal. If his pace got upgraded and then obviously defending and shooting both rise up as well, that would be a fantastic card. His interceptions were amazing. Really, really good at that. Puts the ball through. His agility and balance actually wasn't terrible. They're not the greatest, don't get me wrong. He can't turn quickly, but he does manage to get the ball quite a lot and keep it. So I'm very happy with that card as a kind of cheap beast almost. 40k for a card that's 87, not bad at all. For me, if I was looking to buy him, I would be waiting maybe um, at the very start of rewards, give it like half an hour to an hour and then look to buy him then, or I'd be waiting during promo time if there is a promo on Friday, because then obviously lightning rounds will drop him so much. So it is a risk to buy him tomorrow if there is lightning rounds, because I guarantee he drops even more. But overall, into a Spanish or a La Liga team, not a bad player. Decent centre mid, gets back, goes forward, can assist, can score. I'd say he could do it all. If he does get a couple more upgrades, I think he genuinely has a contender to be in a team, in a first team, and really kind of progress in foot champs, I think. But overall, as this 87, I'm giving him a 6 out of 10 for a centre mid roll. Because there is so many cards. There is loads of cards. So these sort of informs are not going to be the most meta cards in the world. Especially this week's informs. I don't think they're amazing. But there's still cards that you definitely can use and put into some different teams. Obviously a headliner version of him does get the automatic upgrade. Which is fantastic. And I believe that already has the upgrade. So again, that's not a bad one to have. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.